You guys aren't gonna believe it. It's the first snowfall of the season. Look at it coming out in front of my lights right here. I have been looking for this all freaking night, you guys. Like all night long have I been looking for this. For this whole entire year or winter season. This is it. It's finally here and it's not much. I've been driving all night long and waiting in spots where it looked like it might be coming and it never did. Um, so I've been sitting here at the dam for an awfully long time. I saw a little blob of moisture trying to come through here and I think we got it. Well, clearly we did. So this is the first snowfall. Look at that. There's the beautiful moon right there. Oh guys, I can't believe I finally did it. I finally did it. I finally, finally, literally, this is literally the first. This, this is as soon as it started. I am so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Don't forget guys, go to bigbetweatherandmore.com to get your merch. The merch is hot to trot right now. I, it's, it's moving pretty quickly. I'm very, 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 very fortunate about that. Never imagined it would be something uh, that would sell so fast. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, let's, uh, let's back out of here. Uh, don't go over the hill. So here's the reverse and you can see it snowing in the reverse thing here. Oh, it's so great. I am so happy guys. My efforts have paid off for sure. For sure. But yeah, just uh, bear with me a quick second. turn around and hopefully this road big bear boulevard aka highway 18 is gonna hook us up with some snow along the whole drive yes yes i that's the far i redemption oh look it's already getting in, getting into the streets this part of the street over here is turning white that is so cool you guys that is so cool so we'll, we'll let this guy pass so i can turn my brights on so you guys can see it again here we're gonna there we go oh that is so cool all right okay. awesome 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 we did it we absolutely did it you guys i knew if i would just oh man i never give up on this i know i'm so weird you guys i am the weirdest dude ever but every year, I always find our first snow, and I'm not crying because I'm so happy. I'm, my eyes watering. But yeah, this is exciting. I always find it. The very first snowfall of the season. In Big Bear, baby. This is it. I had some help conversing back and forth with my friend Ben Brissy of bensweather.com. For all of your weather information, guys, for your written daily forecasts and stuff like that, go to bensweather.com, B-E-N-S-W-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. That's who you want to utilize. He focuses on this area and this area alone. And he is the go-to meteorologist up here. As far as I'm concerned, he's the only meteorologist up here. But yeah, this is fantastic. Again, if you guys can't tell, look down by the hood of my car where the lights are. You can see the snow. The temperature is 33 degrees. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> oh my gosh, we did it got this out the way yo 
I am so, so tired. As I said, um, for the past couple hours after I got done with my work for the day, I've just been sitting at home watching movies, but staring out the window the whole entire time and, and checking the, the weather radar religiously every five to 10 minutes because it, it changes that rapidly up here. And there were a, a couple points where it looked like we might get something over near Bear. So I drove over to Bear and then drove over to Summit and drove over to the upper portions where, uh, where the village is behind the village to try and find the snow. And I was having no luck, no luck at all. But I saw this blob that looked like it could touch this part of town. So I uh, took a risk and drove all the way out to the dam and we came up successful. By the time we get to Moon Ridge where I live, if it's not snowing there, you guys will see that I really do put a lot of effort. I've driven just under a half a tank just today, you guys. It's killing me. <laughs> it's really killing me. But I'm so obsessed with doing this for you guys. I really am. Like, I, I really am. But yeah, just under a half a tank today. I try to keep my tank full, so I had just over half tank, filled it up. But yeah, we're, we're getting snow right now, guys. I probably should have stayed at the dam for a while and let it come down a little harder, but it's only supposed to touch this area for maybe 15 minutes. So that's why I had to get out there. My friends, the, uh, uh, seriously, Sylvia and Merced Medina, thank you guys again for that $50 for gas. Huge help. Huge help. Dun, 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 dun. It's a huge help. It's a huge help. And we're driving in the snow. Look at the moon over there. The snow down here. Me right there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know why I get so excited about this, but I really do. I get so excited about this. So we're just gonna follow the snow for a while, y'all. What you think about that, huh? Again, it's nothing heavy, but I will not ever miss the first snow. Ever. You know, it's a bummer though, you guys. I don't see anything on the radar for the extended forecast either. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Just fantastic, you guys. Just, oh, look at that. And as I said, we got the moon out too over there. So cool. So cool. Hang on. Sorry about that guys. I had to set the camera down for a brief second. Yeah, turn back on the, the reason I keep on turning the brights back on is so you can see the snow on the headlights falling just ahead of the headlights. I feel bad because Rachel came with me earlier because she wanted to be here with us. But when we went home, she, she, she fell asleep and I'm staring outside, staring at the radar saying I've got to get to the other side of town right now. And uh, she was way too tired, so I apologize, guys. I wish she was here with us. Sorry, baby. But we are still getting some, some, some light flurries coming down. It's making me so happy. Oh, the snow falling from the sky. We're 
going to do a little drive through the village too. Once we get there. Obviously, once we get there. Can't drive there before we get there. That would be quite a feat of just absolute magic. I'm not there yet. Give me a couple more years on this channel and I'll be able to do that. still coming down again you guys it's very light it shouldn't last too long but we're gonna ride the wave all the way into shore here see it right those few snowflakes coming down oh look at how peaceful this village looks right here oh it looks so nice what a joy it is to live here I'm telling you guys what an absolute joy it is to live in this very very beautiful place called Big Bear Lake California Are we still getting uh yeah we're still getting a little bit i kind of want to drive up by summit and then by bear also but we're going to go through the, the rest of the village yeah look right in front of the right in front of the headlights you can see the snow the snow 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 I'm dreaming of a snowy big day Just like the one I used to know uh, it's, It surely gets me so excited. I just can't wait until we get the, get the good sized storms coming through. But again, you guys, go see Ben Brissy's website. It's called bensweather.com. He's been doing our weather up here for, I think, 30 years, may, maybe even more. He's an incredible, incredible guy, a friend of mine, the meteorologist up here. Um, don't go to any other place for your Big Bear weather because you're, you're, you're not going to get what you're looking for. He goes in depth for this area in particular. It's very important especially for you guys traveling up here. I want to make sure that you guys get the best information. Um, and, and again, the information that's focused on this area. Um, let's see here. So also, I don't, don't want to forget. I, I just got so, so excited. Um, yeah, hang on a second, guys. Okay. So we have a good friend on this channel named G. Well, that's not her full name, but I, I refer to her as G. And she and her husband have been very supportive. And she told me something a while back that, that really made me feel good. She said that of all the YouTube she watches all the time, she's, she's never subscribed to any channel. And finally, after watching this channel enough, she finally subscribed. 
And for me, that's a huge, huge compliment because I know a lot of people don't. But guys, it really does help. It really helps what we're doing. So G, my friend, thank you. I also know that, that G placed an order for some merchandise. She is a G. She and her hubby, just really, really, really sweet, sweet people. She's always been so nice to me. Um, yeah, thank you, G. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Da -da 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 Alright, we're we are gonna turn right here and head up to the parking lot of Snow Summit through the back. And hopefully we're gonna catch some more snow the closer we get to the mountain, guys. But yeah, again, thank you G so much. G is the coolest. And you know what, also a shout out to a friend of ours on the channel, Jackie Smith. Um, going through a hard time right now, you guys. And she could use as much support from us as possible. Um, what she's been through is, is really devastating. I'm sure she wouldn't want me mentioning it here. But I just want you guys to know that uh, um, she could really use your, your, your thoughts and your prayers. She's a really good, good person also. So please just think about her for me. I'd appreciate it. Um, and look, it's starting to snow again. Now that we're getting closer, woo! I knew this would happen the closer we get to the, to the resort here. Look at that, looky here, looky, looky here. Okay, so we are parking lot of Schnee, Schnee Schemmet. It's Schnee. I'm trying to think. I was supposed to shout someone else out also. And I am feeling super, super duper bad about that because I love you guys and I never want you guys to think that I'm selfish and, and, and don't want to do like help. I love you guys. I try to remember the very best that I can. So please do not take it personally. But yeah, look at this, guys. Look at this. We're gonna see about pulling up to the front here. We're gonna have to drive through here and then make a U-turn in just a moment. Let me turn on the defroster for a while. We're just actually going to pull right up to the darn, uh, to the darn tootin'. Just going to pull right up here. Oh, it's so peaceful. Guys, it is so peaceful. shut off the car for a second so I can just be quiet and enjoy this for a few minutes, yeah? I hope this isn't too bright for us, but uh, oh yeah, wearing one of my new jackets, of course, of course, of course, of course. But yeah, this is snow, folks. Look at that beautiful snowflake right here. Yeah, look at that. Hi, beautiful snowflakes. How you doing this fine evening? Oh, pretty good. How are you? I'm pretty good. You've been waiting for us, haven't you? Yes, I have. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I am the weirdest person ever. Um, I am friends with Talking Snowflakes. Who does that? Who does that? But anyway, yeah, I'm, uh, I can't believe it's snowing. I just, I can't believe it's snowing. Let's see if we can see some of the snow on the hood. Just real quick. The ground's a little slick, but we're gonna walk over here towards, towards that. Oh, it's remarkable. You guys, I am so happy. I could not be happier. And look, there's a star right above us, too. Look at the star. Okay, guys, we're going to go uh, check out Bear Mountain real quick. But thank you guys for being here. If you guys like what I do, please, please help me out and like, like and subscribe. Please do that for me. I've told you guys in the past, I've been not, not the best at doing that myself for other people's channels that I watch. So... I started actually subscribing and liking every video from other channels that I watch, hoping that the favor gets returned because believe it or not, I think less than 4% of the people who actually watch these videos are actually subscribed. So that means people are like typing in Big Bear Weather and more on YouTube to find the most recent videos and then never subscribing. So please guys, help me out. I, I work so hard at this. And I use so much gas. Oh, that is so pretty. That is just so pretty. All right, so we're gonna head back down the boulevard way. We could take the shortcut towards, towards Bear. You know what? I think that's what we will do. It's just, this road's always a mess. It's called Switzerland. This is what my wife and I took earlier, hoping to find some snow like we're seeing right now, but no, we didn't. But seriously guys, how about that talking snowflake? That was pretty cool, huh? That's my buddy. Haven't seen that, that guy in like a year. So yeah, as I said, Switzerland gets really, really bad with, with huge potholes. Huge potholes. But this is a shortcut, so we don't have to get back on Big Bear Boulevard. And we're gonna stay right along the bottom of the mountain. So we'll, we'll be in more of the heavier snowfall, if I can even call it that. We'll be in the heavier part of the precipitation, I'll tell you that. Oh my gosh, look at this monster. Oh my gosh. Jeez, Pothole Central. Ow! Come on, snowfall. Come on, snowfall. such a slave to this snow I'm telling you but look at how bad the road is oh my gosh oh my gosh but don't worry guys 
You know I like to have fun when it snows. Of course, because of you guys, I've become much more responsible driving these, these roads. So I don't want you to be too worried, but I've become more responsible. And hang on, let me uh, zoom out to regular. There we go. I still like to have fun though when I'm driving in these conditions, or well, when there's ice and snow all over the place. That's when we uh, really test out our snow tires. Can't wait to be doing some of those donuts in the parking lots and doing some of the safe drifting. Obviously, you never want to do any of this when there's anyone else around. And I'm not even condoning it for anybody else. I'm just saying that. Get ready for, for watching me do some of that stuff. Because it's fun. It's a good time. All right, so let's see. I predicted it, it, it would pick up heavier at Snow Summit like it did. Obviously, the further away we're getting, the less snow we're getting. But I'm thinking maybe Bear Mountain will be very similar. So we're going to Bear Mountain. This is Elm Street right here. We were just on Switzerland. I just made a right on Elm Street and Elm Street turns into Willow here. So we're gonna follow this road to the left and this is Willow. This will take you to a street called Club View. This dead ends at Club View. And that's where we're going. We're gonna turn right on, right on Club View and, until we get to Gold Mine and Bear Mountain right there. Said, I think I'm gonna turn off the windshield wipers for right now, Mr. Windshield Wiper. Probably no one's gonna see this video because it's gonna be uploaded like midnight or so. Guys, I know I'm I am so weird. But I get excited about this stuff. And as I said, almost a half a tank of gas in one day. I mean, driving everywhere in the whole valley and almost up all the way to Onyx Summit, thinking I was timing a, a blob of snow perfectly. And then when I got to that spot, the clouds weren't anywhere around me. So clearly I didn't time it right. All right, so we're barely getting any flurries at this point, but I'm hoping when we make our right turn here, look at these beautiful clouds up there. Look at that. Look at those, those snow clouds. So we're going to go to Bear Mountain now. And hopefully the further we go, go this direction, even though it's not that far, hopefully we run into some snow. And right when I said that, it started to pick up. If you look at the headlights, And it should pick up more and more as we get closer to bear. Should is the key word. It's white right here. Yeah, I like to see that. I like to see the roads white like that. It makes me happy. All right, so we are at Bear. Oh yeah. Oh, look at those clouds around the moon right there. So cool. So cool. The whole parking lot's got a dusting of white. Let's pull in there for a moment, huh? Shall we? Shall we? Oh yeah, that's so awesome. So this is as far as we can go right here. I'm wondering if I go up top there, 
we're gonna get any snow. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. I'm kind of thinking about doing Upper Moon Ridge right before we head back home. See if we can catch any more snow. Currently, the temperature is 30 degrees. For those of you who are interested. Guys, I was so excited when, when I was sitting at, at the dam just hoping and praying that that 15 to 20 minutes of snow would touch us there. And my gosh, literally as soon as it did, you guys, you guys saw the first 30 seconds of the first snowfall in town. I am such a beast when it comes to this. Beast mode, always. All right, so it looks like this part of Upper Moon Ridge might be getting a little bit of snow, so we're gonna head up there. We're gonna head up Sheephorn and see if we get lucky. Do you feel lucky? Huh? Punk, do you feel lucky? Here we go, this is called Sheephorn. It's so cool. Look at how cool that looks, man. We're still getting some flurries. Some flurry flurs. still flurrying a little bit I'm hoping when we get up to the top it'll be uh, a, a little heavier but it might not be and right as I say that it starts to pick up so that's good yeah that's as good John Candy. I'm sure you do because who doesn't? But I've been doing like a John Candy marathon lately and it's been so great. I think uh, the last five movies we've watched have been uh, uh, The Great Outdoors and then um, what was the next one? Planes, Trains, and Automobiles then Cool Runnings then Uncle Buck and next is going to be another one that I liked when I was a, a kid. Who's Harry Crumb? Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, we are pretty much up here now. I'm not seeing a uh, much heavier schnee. But we're doing the best we can to find some schnee. because we're not going to go deeper into Upper Moon Ridge right there. We're going to head this direction. And that smell, that petrichlor, whatever, that's, that, that smell of, of rain from the sky and the mixture, you guys, of fireplaces. Oh, as my mom would say, it's, it's to die for. It's divine. Right, Mom? I love you so much. It's divine. It's to die for. All right. Okay, so now we just turned on a little street called Mira, and right away we're turning right on Butte. Butte. 
It's spelled but with an E. So we're driving down but to E. Butte. And it looks like uh, just a couple flurries coming down. Nothing, nothing to write home about. myself for all my hard work trying to find this it's pretty cool that I was able to find this tonight I am so obsessive compulsive you guys like it's 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 a self-diagnosis I don't have any um, rituals involved where I like grab the doorknob five times before I start recording or or something it's just I'm just I'm very obsessive about this channel. Okay, now we're going to be turning on Villa Grove. This is a lower part of Villa Grove. When we got to the top, right, right, right when we got to the end of Luna and made the left turn, that was Villa Grove also. Hey, Coyote. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hang on. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, Don't be scared. Don't be scared, buddy. It's your friend, Big Bear Weather Guy. Oh, he just flipped me off. I can't believe that. I, I can't, I just, I just, I mean, come on. I'm just trying to do good around here. Can't believe that guy. All right. I mean, just gave me the paw. <laughs> he just gave me the paw. Why me? I know, guys. If our country wouldn't have closed down so many mental hospitals over the years, I'd be there. <laughs> I'd be there. I'd be there. I'd be there. All right, so we are on, I always forget the name of this, this little street right here. Uh, when I see it, I'll remember it. Let's see, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Sunset. I knew it was sunset. Anyway, that's where we just came from, Bear Mountain area. So it looks like we caught what we're gonna catch in town, guys. I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for the journey. I know this wasn't anything like special to most people, but for me it was very special. I guarantee you at my house just down the street here, we didn't see any of this. So it, it did take work to go find it um, and we did. Thank you guys for everything. Thanks for the support. It means a lot to me. I have a lot of fun doing this, I really do. Once again, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. Please share the videos. Um, do what you can to help me out. I'd appreciate it. I work hard at this and I want to uh, to uh, get this seen in further places and different universes, you know? I just wanna expand this as, as far as we can. So again, thank you guys for everything. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And uh, yeah, welcome to the first snowfall of the season. Hopefully, we get a lot more. Until next time, y'all. I love you very much. It's uh, November 30th, last day of November in 2023. You guys take care. I love you guys very much. Bye.